All right, in this quick geek tip, I want to show you how to change the default program that Windows Terminal opens up inside of Windows 11. Now, previous versions of Windows, it was fairly easy to get to PowerShell and the command prompt from uh, uh, different ways, you know, with the start menu, the power user menu. But in Windows 11, Microsoft combined it all, combined them all together into a program called Windows Terminal. But uh, Windows Terminal, for me, opens up by default in uh, the PowerShell. And uh, I like to use Command Prompt whenever possible. You know, there are times when I have to use PowerShell, but uh, the majority of the time I like to use uh, Command Prompt. So I'm going to show you how to change that over. So, to get to the Windows Terminal, there's a couple of ways to do it. We can actually click on the Start button. We can go up here and we can actually type in Terminal. And we'll get Windows Terminal here. We can also go to the Start button and we can go to All Apps. And we can scroll down to Windows Terminal. Boom, right there. Or my personal favorite is the power user menu. To get to the power user menu, you have to right click on the start button and you actually bring up this power user menu which actually came into fruition in Windows 8.1. Um, people didn't like the start screen that Microsoft had uh, implemented in Windows 8. So when the Windows 8.1 came out, they added in this power user menu. So there's a couple ways to get to it. We can actually right click on the start button, bring it up that way, or we can use the keyboard combination of the window key X. That will actually bring up the, the power user menu too. But this time, you'll notice that we have actual letters that are underlined in each one of these commands. That way we can actually run it using a keyboard key, not the mouse. So that's just a tricky way to getting to it. But for me, I'm going to go in. Let's go into the Windows Terminal with admin privileges. Everything I run runs as an admin. And I don't know anybody who you know would try to run a command uh, without having admin privileges. But I prefer running everything with admin privileges. So, all right, as you can see, we've got Windows PowerShell came up as part of the Windows Terminal, but yeah, I can change it. I can switch over and I can do a one-time command prompt. Boom, bring that up, but I want it to always open up a command prompt. So let's go into the settings. We're going to go to settings here, right here, startup, default profile, command prompt. Let's click save and we're going to close it down all right so this time when I right click on the start button and I go to Windows Terminal admin I now have administrator command prompt so that's uh, today's quick geek tip any more questions or any more computer tips go on over to geeksandphoenix.com all right have a great day and we will talk to you later